Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, where we have headed deep within the Shadowlands. This kind of jungle area uh, on Kashyyyk, filled with strange life forms and plants and fauna and flora that all kind of sort of want to kill you. Though, now I'm kind of curious as to what this does. Hang on. Ah! Um, I missed an opportunity for, a uh, For, a uh, Down attack. Alright. I just take faith. I just take faith that it works. Hey, BD, in here. What is it, BD? New poncho material. I don't really like ponchos. Like they I just generally don't like ponchos. Like I'm sure they're useful and as as function. But aesthetically, they're not very interesting. Like, I've only got two regular outfits, and the rest are just ponchos. Which is why I haven't really been changing the outfit of my character that often. Huh. Where did I get launched to? Okay. The uh, meditation point is directly below me. So let us meditate, get our health back from what we lost against the snail. What are we going for for- oh yeah, we were going for style switching. Yes, we're gonna have to try that out. And that requires holding down the square button. Which seems like it shouldn't use any... Uh, force ability. Like that I feel is my problem with a lot of the moves. Huh. What is... What is the purpose of that wall run? Or... Oh, nope, I can get on shore over here, too. And fight these spiders. Why, hello, spiders. I have come to fight you. How very rude of you. It's very rude. Okay. Spiders have been dealt with. Let's check it out. What is it, BD1? It's a lung plant. Of course it is. Uh, I think I have to go... Yeah, that is probably the way I need to go, but this is also a way I can go. We. Also, this is a bit late coming, but... Uh, but let's up the brightness a couple notches. That's where we're supposed to be tarful. Is this where we're supposed to meet, Tarful? Okay, so this actually is the way for me to go. So let's drop down real quick, um... That way... Oh, 
Um, I can clear out this side. Oh, that was an accident. I mean, if it was done on purpose, I would be like, wow, that was a pretty good sidestep and kick. Ah, Tarful! Is that... Oh, it's him! But for now, let's take out this snail guy. Who has, for some reason, parked himself... Yep. Yeah, take that. Sir, you don't see me vomiting up bile to fight you. That's, that's just very rude. Hmm. Okay, that, there's actually nothing in that direction. There is a whole bunch of nothing. Alright, uh, let's head back. Ooh, what is this? You feel the force all around this place. Oh. Now, that's, uh, that's something worth noting, is that, like, it, does this, does the universe of Star Wars necessarily have a, um, state that the force is, well, I guess if the force always, uh, flows through living things, then... Is a jungle essentially a concentrated spot for the force to travel? Ah, uh, it's... Glad you made it. This is Chieftain Tarful. I'm on a mission from Master Eno Cordova. He was looking for a Zepho artifact. Finding it could help save the Jedi. Cordova found wisdom at the top of the origin tree. You should I'm uh, slowly there. working on my Wookiee impression. I don't even know where to start. Well, you might be able to find a way up through its root system, but most of it's underwater. You'll need this breather. Ah, now I have the ability to swim underwater. I was wondering if I was actually going to be able to, and I had assumed I wouldn't be from a previous section of the game. But Thank I guess you. the answer is I well, will was wrong in regards to that. The only thing we can, keep fighting. Good luck. Hope we meet again. Oh, is this... Is that the last we see of... Tarful? We spent all this time trying to get to him. Uh, and now there is a underwater exploration point right over there. Excellent. Um, but let us... Shall we... No, we don't need to rest. We don't need to rest. Resting is for fools. Unfortunately, though, while I'm underwater, I will not have access to my map, because my map is a part of the system. Or should I say it is part of BD? Uh, it is... What's the term? Uh, diegetic. Not non-diegetic. He took shelter here, mourning the loss of an elder. All right, so there's that path over here. Hmm. Are there any more secrets? Probably not that many more. And I suppose... Hmm. You know, if there was a limited amount of XP, uh, similar to, say, uh, Dark Souls 2, in that you can only kill the enemies so many times, then you could say that, like, uh, the... Oh, is this a chest? 
the echoes would be even more meaningful. A lightsaber switch, peace and justice too, uh, would be more meaningful because they would provide uh, experience to boost what you, the limited amount you already get from enemies. It would also be more meaningful if you had more customization in regards to your character, as opposed to just, here is your skill tree, it's a very limited amount of skills, this is what your points are going to be going towards. I'll probably- oh my gosh, his swimming animation. Sometimes it seems diff decent, sometimes... Ooh, Derillium. What have we here? We've got a dead stormtrooper. Let's rise to the surface, see where the hell we are. Also, is this where we're supposed to go? This is actually where we're supposed to go. All right, uh, let's hop aboard. This lung. You know, if they worked together, concentrated their efforts. There we go. Oh no, you defeated that stormtrooper. How are these storm like <laughs> How are these stormtroopers even getting to where they are? Are they being essentially just dropped in and forgotten I about? The could keep them out forever. Yeah, the or they're just wiped out. So or there's just so many on the planet that like they've already spread out so much. All right. Let us dive, dive, dive. I remember back in the day, uh, somebody had put on the movie Run Silent, Run Deep. Uh, this old, uh, World War II U-boat movie, I believe it was. And at the beginning of the movie- oh my, oh my gosh, Jesus, Cal, stay on shore. Uh, at the beginning of the movie, like, the- somebody was shouting, dive, 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 like, every, like, two seconds. It had almost become comical. Oh no! The vegetation is coming after me. Slowly coming after me. I mean, it's an interesting... Uh, uh, do I go down or do I go up? Those things I... give me the creeps. Whoa, strong words coming from you. <laughs> Whoa, BD, you don't have to swear so much. Jeez. This robot's foul language is extreme. Oh no. We are going to be slowly slowly chased oh hello enemy enemy here i'll get you don't be next i didn't need backup anyway i can't fight anymore stay back just stay back 
All right. Oh, no. Almost. Oh. Yeah, take that. Stim here, BD. Also. I can see there is a treasure chest over here, which I can splice open. But are there underwater envir- Oh, uh, it's just open. Never mind. Valor and wisdom. Well, let's see if there's a... There are no underwater environs, but there is this guy. Okay, so there's just an echo over there. An echo of the past. Almost forgotten. Only lingering on in the force. Uh, hmm. What is... What is the purpose of the, those things below us? Well, oh, son of a... this go? Oh, no, no. Oh, son of a... So that's what they do. They annoy you to death. Ah, there we go. Them up. Hmm. What exactly am I? Where exactly am I trying to go? Oh my gosh! You suck. Like, the tentacles had only barely, uh... Oh, son of a... Can I get a one? I feel like I'm gonna get myself killed doing this. Where exactly am I supposed to go from this area? I don't get it. Like, it seems like there should be a... Okay. It's like... Oh, son of a... No. Too high. Too high. No. Oh my gosh. I was trying to jump backwards. No, don't climb up. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. It would be nice if he didn't make such large uh, bounds. And he doesn't seem to be able to jump backwards that easily. No, don't climb up. Thought we talked about this. You're quick. Okay, let's get out of here before I kill myself chasing whatever the hell that is. Although I seem to have also kind of... Hold on. Okay, I think I figured it out. Was the game expecting me to go in a different direction? Like, uh... Like, this This wasn't exactly the way in. The path that I was going on was the way out. Because there seems to be some sort of ramp that goes down. But I don't quite see where the ramp connects. Alright, let's just give up chasing this dream, whatever it is. Uh, because it is only going to get me killed and sent back to whatever previous meditation point I'd last rested at. Which would be highly inconvenient, because I don't exactly remember where it was. Ah, that's a chest. A lot of underwater chests just kind of lying around. A new emitter. And does this go anywhere? Probably not. With any luck, there's going to be a meditation point at the top of one of these ridges before there is a fight. That is what I'm hoping for. Do you think the Empire would have come after Kashyyyk so hard if we hadn't intervened? Uh... The Jedi are supposed to be symbols of hope, but I led the Inquisition here. Mari and Tarful put their trust in me. Did I just endanger them again? Well, here's the thing. I suppose the Inquisition wouldn't have come here if they, if uh, Cal hadn't come here, but the Empire wouldn't have left unless uh, somebody fought against them. And if, if somebody fought against them, then the Empire would have resupplied themselves. It would have probably been a different faction of the Empire. Ah, rest point. And now let's finally save up three skill points uh, so that I can... Eh. So that I can um, upgrade my stem ability. 
I'll handle it. What is Give me a fight? I'm injured. Come back and fight. How did you injure yourself? You cannot resist. What am I not resisting? The fight? Is that what I'm not resisting? Run! You won't survive! That is probably the easiest purge trooper. Electro Hammer Purge. Mmm. Good try there, Electro Hammer Purge. You ain't got nothing ooh on me. To the origin tree. Will this be essentially like the first tree in Kashyyyk? playing Jedi. I told the Grand Inquisitor you wouldn't be stupid enough to show your face here again, especially after we wiped out that feeble resistance. <sighs> Love it when I'm wrong. Um, hmm. Oh no! Things are going to get temporarily intense before we duel. So I'm guessing once we fight, most that person will be defeated and stay defeated because the second sister is the... Oh my, holy crap. Hang on! Um, thank you? Oh, I think this is, yeah, this is where that other area shows up, is because of uh, getting shot at. And yeah, ramps, oh, holy crap. This is a little bit of a ride. This isn't really a level, this is a ride. That's okay. Sometimes it's okay to go on rides. It's one of those more exciting events that comes with being a triple A game. Or should I say at the very least a triple A mainstream game. Ah! What the hell are you? What is that thing? The night's just gone. One second thought. She listens to their transmissions. Better find out on her own. All right. Saved by some Kashyyyk wildlife. I'm okay with that. Well, luckily, luckily, that's uh, that's a good reason for me learning to speak Wookiee is because of how easily I was saved by a giant bird. Nope. I should probably head towards that treasure chest. Unfortunately, he has only one swim speed, which is very slow. What's that to you? Ah, bronzium. How, f how long does a rebreather last? Does it really matter in a science fiction universe? It kind of reminds me of like uh, how in Mass Effect 1, uh, there was... No, you didn't collect ammo because your gun essentially had a block of metal inside of it 
that sliced, uh, that was just sliced depending on the range uh, that, of the thing that you were shooting at. And you pretty much had infinite ammo because of that. Um, and then the uh, sequels came around, and the sequels were like, oh, by the way, am like, ammo is still not a thing, but now everybody operates on heat sinks. Like, you don't necessarily need to explain how guns work that much. Yeah, take that. And I see some spiders there, and I see a... There are multiple paths, actually. Shall we go back and see where this goes? Oh, it literally goes up here. Never mind. Hello. I mean, I might as well just pick these guys up and throw them at my enemies. That son of a... Why, hello there. Though it does use a lot of the force. Wow. That is a crowd. Um, where does that, where's that gonna bounce me up? That's gonna bounce me up way over there. Which is fine, because I think there's an echo. For generations, the Wookiees made a pilgrimage to the top. The tree guided them. Almost as if the Force was strong in this area. Alright. Shall we do our best? Let's do our best. Oh my, that. BD, here. There we go. Nope. Very rude of you for, uh, for missing. Son of a... Okay, BD. Them up. All right. Excellent. We did it. We are the champions. Come on, BD. Oh, did you get uh, distracted by a scan spot? New terrarium seed, like mush bloom. Let's just hope it doesn't get too tall. Hey, BD, take a look. What you got there? New poncho material. Cause that's what everybody wants is more ponchos in their life. Oh, what do you see? It's a spider web. Wow, I would have never guessed.
And then I'm guessing this is going to be the path forward. So let us proceed. Why, hello. A skill point. Excellent. Okay, it looks like I have to climb something back this way. Oh, hello. What are you doing wandering around on your lonesome, not being defeated by me? Hmm. All right, now jump, run, and jump, and run, and jump. I don't know if it's friendly. Ah, That's it's the, thing the bird thing. Sister. I mean, it's pretty awesome. And yeah, we... I get... Yeah, that is oh. true. We don't necessarily... Know if it's friendly. We just know it's awesome. Although... Here is my guess. My guess is that, is that it is friendly, because if it isn't friendly, that means that they would have to create the boss fight. As Tarful let us hear, he spoke of a glorious creature called the Sheobird. Um, what would this be under? This would be under Cordova's journey? Maybe? Oh well, it's too late. It's somewhere in this, uh... What? Nope. Uh. Get up. Uh. Try again. Oh. Just keep failing, man. Am I getting like a double jump or something? Good. Keep failing. Keep getting back up. That is the only way to succeed. Do not allow yourself to be weighed down by ego and pretense. That's why I fail all the time. You fear to lose and rise up. Now. Again. What am I? Yeah. Good. Now reach my position. You can do it. Gotta keep getting back up, BD. As long as we get back up, we're still in this fight. Yes. Now so with a nifty little double jump. Before, perch before Master Tapal died. Oh, okay. So that's a nice way of basically saying, hey, um, you have learned all of the abilities. Ooh, actually, that doesn't necessarily mean you aren't going to learn any more abilities. Uh, as much as, like, mm, no, that probably means you're not going to learn any more abilities. Hmm. Precision Evade. When performing a Precision Evade, Cal briefly slows enemies and recovers a small amount of the force. I love it. That is what I want. A Whirlwind Throw. Throws the double-bladed lightsaber in an area around Cal. That's cool. Pulse. Grasping Pull. Howling Push. The Power of Friendship. I'm going to get the Precision Evade. Yeah, I'm going to do that.
All right. And then let's rest. And let's explore. Hmm. Okay, I was supposed to run along that wall, but for some reason I missed. Okay, that's fine. We moved along anyway. At the very least, you don't go back to a checkpoint anytime you fall down a pit, which is... Like one of this game's most forgiving aspects. Think we can help it? Um, can I? I understand. Son of a. This tree connects the core of the planet to the sky. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but, uh... It didn't quite give me the chance to, uh... counter that I was expecting. Mind helping me out? Feeling better. Ah, very nice. And then I'm guessing I jump for this thing. Although that's the thing with cinematic camera angles, is that they aren't useful for gameplay. They look cool. But because you're just so far, your camera is so far away from the character, like it. Everything he did, did any of it matter? Uh, no, it didn't. Uh, Cal, you are a character in an extended universe aspect of Star Wars. Nothing you do really matters, especially when it comes to fighting the Empire, because Star Wars Episode One's, or sorry, Episode Four, still needs to happen. And then episode 5 and 6, none of which involve Cal. So everything he does literally doesn't matter. Because none of it is actually going to build upon anything. Unless, of course, he does succeed at becoming uh, this Jedi Master who has a school of Jedi. And that eventually leads to a Jedi school in the fiction. Okay, so there's a path that way. This bird might be the last of its kind. Huh. Oh. I'm being stupid. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump. There we go. I need to remember to jump, jump instead of just jump. I don't want to 
gonna spook it. Hey, it's okay. We're not here to hurt you. I'm Fred, going to not man. spook you by immediately Fred. shouting the word hey. It's okay. You know, it's probably that thingamajig that stabbed into your side. This is the Night Sister ship. We need to remove it. This is gonna hurt, okay? I'm sorry. Ah, interesting. I did not think about that. There you go. That he could just use stims to heal, uh, heal the bird creature. Like for some reason, what was going on in my head is just the idea, like, oh, was I going to use the force to heal the bird? And like, hold. I clearly should have remembered the fact that I'm carrying around. <laughs> Healing glow sticks. Hey, BD, let's go. What's that, BD? It's a mantis paint job. Um, in Parahelion. My friend, never have I seen a view more exquisite than atop this tree. Oh, here we go. My friend, as Turfle let us, he spoke of a glorious creature called the Shio Bird. He said the bird is the forest's protector. So rare, it's nearly a legendary. I would dearly love to research this creature further, but the Estrium must be my priority. I hope to one day return and search for the Shio with Tarful. My friend, never have I seen a view more exquisite than atop this tree. The climb has given me time to reflect. It was the will of the Force that I found Bagano, and that I'm here now. There is a greater journey ahead. Okay. Ah, alright. And the path is to the right. Oh. Is the bird going to be my path? Is the bird the word? Do I get to hop aboard the bird and go on a never-ending journey? I've never seen the movie Never-Ending Journey, so... Uh, I know they don't Give fly a bird, life. but still. Never-Ending Story. Wow. Still haven't seen that movie. Like, they haven't touched that spot over there. And that cloud, so fluffy. Also, pretty much almost any theme from Jurassic Park could easily be playing in this scene, too. That definitely saves time in regards to climbing. So, thank you, Shio Bird. For helping me skip levels 5 through 9. Always finding stuff. Yeah. Is this a workbench? Is this supposed to be a workbench? Did I find a new emitter? Passion and strength. Elemental nature. And two materials, let's see. Electrium plated. No, I think that was there before. 
Donium, Derillium, Bronzium, and Crodium. Crodium is interesting. Um. At last, I found my quarry. The Astrium. Used by the Cepho Sages millennia ago. I hold in my hand a piece of galactic history. I will never be able to thank Tarful enough. Do you know what this means, my friend? No need to return to Darthamir. The darkness clouded every attempt at finding the Astrium inside Kujit's tomb, but the Force... The Force has provided a new path. Okay, so he's basically Could announced that there is a tomb on Darthamir. All right, but I think this is where we're going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.